Hi guys and welcome to this video. I'm going to be basically talking about some trading stuff. Um, as you all know, my name is Dapo Willis. I'm an FX trader predominantly. I'm also a digital marketing specialist. So I do a whole lot of social media marketing and a host of other stuff, e-com and all of that. But I am also huge on FX trading. Now, uh, FX trading has, was actually my first source of income online. And I decided to launch this channel. This is actually going to be one of my first. Uh, this is actually going to be one of my first videos back on YouTube because I actually abandoned YouTube for a long time. But I am indeed back, and I hope you guys enjoy the content I'm going to be putting out right about now. So I'm going to be going over a couple of currency pairs, which I feel you guys should um, obviously have a look at. Uh, don't follow my analysis to gospel. Obviously, you're supposed to use my analysis in addition to yours for you to make a trading buy. So. Yeah, so guys, hop onto the chat and I'll take you over to some to profit or right, whatever. Just hop on. Just... All right, guys. So the first pair I do have in front of me is actually GBP USD. Now I was short GBP USD sometime last week. Actually, I was short from somewhere about here. I was short here all the way to this point. What right about here? I actually didn't realize that there was a major level of support somewhere hanging here. So I was pretty much adding all my short positions somewhere about here. I'll just take you over to the four hours so that you can have a, a very good understanding of what exactly it is I'm talking about. So this was actually my short position. I'm going to show you my short position and then I'm going to take you over to what exactly I have cooking for the week. Yeah. So guys, this was my thought process from last week here. So pretty much we kind of have some form of lower highs as you can see although this is an equal high from here but i was expecting for us to roll over because we put in a lower low from this one okay so i was expecting us to you know come in here and then roll over and, and we, we did just that we actually started rolling over but we rolled over i was short from somewhere about here the break of this trend line was my short position so i caught this whole move all the way to the downside i probably caught about uh I would say about 160 some pips, like a combination of like two different trades. So, like, so I had another short position somewhere about here. I caught up about 160 some pips in this entire move. But, you know, then I saw the market start to react very crazy about here. Uh, then I looked left and I was able to reanalyze and I then noticed that this was a strong level of support. And from the lower, time frame candles i was seeing some head and shoulder formation and stuff like that so you know that basically just said to me that you know this market was about to reverse somewhere here and indeed we did reverse for those of you who are for those of you who are um active traders and who are also on this trade as well you'd also see that you know we did start to push all the way up to the upside you can see some massive bullish engulfing candles and yeah, the market is pretty much trading here at the moment. Now, the, the, the question here is where do we go from here? Now, I'm just going to break this down from uh, all the way from the weekly so that we, we, we both are on the same page. Just give my screen a little bit of time to load. Now, good. Now, why that actually happened was because of, because of this, okay? So just allow me, give me a moment, let me draw something real cool for you. Now, because of something like this, okay? Okay, so you can see this is the previous trend line. Market was trading below it. We broke it, came back, tested it once, slid to the bottom. Now we're testing it again. This was the actual reason why you know this market started to push all the way back to the upside, and then we're back here again. The same thing happened. I'll just show you. Yeah, so this was actually why, as you can see, let's delete this previous one to it. Take that out. You know, so right about here is where exactly we, you know, we we broke out of this trend line, came back, we tested it, but in the lower time frame, it wasn't exactly looking like that. So on the daily time frame, now the reason I'm taking my time to go over this is because I'm not just coming here to tell you guys of how I was able to bank over 300 pips last week and you guys probably pretty much lost all your money. I'm not coming on here to tell you guys, you know, how perfect of a trader I am. I'm just basically going over the thought process of a trader okay so i thought okay that you know this market finally has started trading below this trend line 
yada yada, we're going to bleed all the way to the downside. However, I failed to realize that this was actually playing now, okay? That this was actually a breakout and a retest and a continuation back to the upside. You know, so that's pretty much why I was really short. Now, the reason why I was only able to bank between 160 to 200 pips last week was simply because I, did, I, I was unable to I was unable to identify this trend line here and this major support level. So it wasn't until I was it wasn't until I, I saw this bullish engulfing candle right about here before you now occurred to me like oh shit I think there's a strong level here. Let me redo my analysis and then I was able to identify these two strong levels before I was able to take my profit out. So if if I took if if I you know didn't if I allowed the market you know, if I took my profit out somewhere about here, I'd probably have banked about 250 pips, no doubt. But, you know, it is what it is. And usually a lot of traders come across issues like this, scenarios like this, you know, whereby, you know, they're in a very, very nice trade. And then all of a sudden the market just spikes, starts spiking against them. Now, a lot of people who, uh, who I give a lot of trade calls to, my clients, now I do give trade calls to a whole lot of um HMI clients like high net worth individuals for them to trade on their own money. People who go a million plus pounds, you know, trading off my analysis and all that. So I have to be extremely careful and I also have to be very diligent in my analysis. So I am on here explaining the thought process, my own thought process. You might sat there and be thinking, oh, he's stupid for not realizing this. But one thing I want to say to you is that 95% of traders thought this thing was going to collapse and so did I. So there's no issue with that. However, moving forward, that's in the past now. Moving forward, um, what I have in front of me is what is looking like an ABCD pattern that's playing out on the GBPUSD. So if I just draw my uh, my Fibonacci somewhere like so, my charts are up to now. Yeah, if I just draw my Fibonacci like so, you can see a very clear ABCD pattern playing out. A, B, C, you know, D probably to complete somewhere about here. So what this simply says to me is that. Right here, price action is pretty much in the middle of nowhere, okay? Get out of my screen! Pardon me. Remove, right? Remove, good. Now, price action is, you know, pretty much trading about here. You can see there's, an, there's a move that's about to take place between here to here to here to possibly here first. So, we've taken off, we've lifted off from about here. We're currently trading here and we need to get here. Now, it's an absolute no-brainer. So what you then do in this kind of situation is you scroll down to a lower time frame, okay? You scroll down to a lower time frame and then you actually come and see what exactly is happening. Because I'm so confident that this market is going to head higher, all I need to do is look for a trade, what I say, a trade setup somewhere about here. And what is exact, what exactly is going on here is looking like a, a pretty decent range going on somewhere about here. So I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to map it out somewhere about here. Give me a moment while I map this out. Now, the reason I could have pretty much analyzed this market before I came here, but I want you guys to understand what we call the thought process, okay? Thought process of a trader is very, very important, okay? So, this is exactly what I have in front of me now. So, all I need to do is wait for this market to break this level. Once I have a full bullish engulfing candle right about here, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be heading to 1.3298. 1.3298 is the next level upside target for GBPUSD. But before we do get there, we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to take out a very important level, which is somewhere about here. Okay. So before we get to 1.3298, I'm calling GBPUSD immediate target at 1.3196. You can quote me anywhere. This is exactly where GBPUSD is going to. I'm gonna be getting long probably on the four hour bullish engulfing candle close out of this range. This market is bullish indeed. Let me see if I can slap on another Fibonacci from swing low to swing high. Uh, this is probably looking like a 32.8 Fibonacci. Uh, yeah, so this is my favorite, just keeps playing up. Okay, so you know that's GBPUSD in a nutshell, guys. I'm absolutely bullish on GBPUSD. And one thing I did realize on GBPUSD as well is something very interesting. So I'll just take it. I'll just take it, uh, I'll just take it. Yeah, you can also see that the moving average is about to cross back to the upside, okay? Moving averages are about to cross back to the upside. So, yes indeed, ladies and gentlemen, we are looking pretty bullish, temporarily anyway. So, I can't necessarily foresee what's going to happen after 
you know, we do hit here and hit here. Probably if we break above here, we might head a lot higher. Let me just zoom out on my chart. Probably head a lot higher. Anyway, when we get to that bridge, I'm going to reanalyze it. I'm then going to give you guys an update of what exactly is going to happen next. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, GBPUSD is bullish. We're heading to 1.3196. After that, we're heading to 1.3298. So you head it here first. My name is Dapper Willis, my YouTube channel, yada, 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 yada. That's by the way. Anyway, so that's GBP USD, guys. Uh, I'm going to be heading over to my next pair. What do I have next in stock for you guys? Uh, I have Euro Dollar. Now, Euro Dollar, I was actually on Euro, I was actually trading Euro Dollar as well. I was short Euro Dollar. Believe you me, I was short Euro Dollar. And then, what happens to Euro Dollar? Euro Dollar just starts to spin the opposite direction. So, Euro Dollar as well, I was able to bank about, how many people do I think I was about to, able to bank about a hundred and something pips? Yeah, why, why, how was I able to do that? Well, I saw that this market was pretty much in a downtrend. Consolidation push to the downside, consolidation push to the downside, consolidation push, push, push. Down, uh, sideways movement, try to push lower, push back into key level of resistance and then we push lower. So it was literally at this point where we started to push lower. Okay, I just dropped my counter trend line like about here. So we did, we did have a fake out, okay, but we pushed back into um, counter trend line support. We tested this level again and came back, came back down here. Now, the moment we broke here, I said, okay, I think it's about time for us to start bleeding all the way to the downside. So it was literally at this point whereby I said to myself, okay, it's time to start heading all the way to the downside. Um, Yes, yeah, so I, sh I shorted the market somewhere about here. Let me just zoom in for you guys to actually see. I shorted the market somewhere about here. And I pretty much cut the pip all the way here to this, you know, pretty much somewhere to this red candle. And then I started to see some bullish momentum all the way back to the downside, back to the upside rather. I probably could have caught more pips, but like I like same thing that happened to me with uh, GBPUSD. I feel, I have no idea why. So this is where my... My support level was strong. It was strong somewhere about here. I was expecting this market, honestly speaking, yeah. I, and I like to be very honest. Like, I can't just come up here and just draw my level here and be like, oh, I knew it was going to turn around there. That's a lie. What actually happened was I drew my trend, my support level about here, drew it here, and I was expecting this market to come all the way down here for me to take my profit. It was an absolute no-brainer trade. But, you know, just, this market just has its way of doing things anyway. So... You know, the market started to stall about here. I noticed some, you know, some crazy amount of candles. If you came to the four hour, sorry about that. If you came to the four hour, let's come over to the four hour. If you came over to the four hour, you would realize that this market went, went from, you know, just spitting, 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 pulling back, spitting to just pretty much doing a madness, okay? And obviously, I spotted some something that looked like a, well, it wasn't really a head and shoulder. It was something of that sort. And then I was like, I think the market is about to reverse, so I decided to um, take my profit, take whatever I had with me to try to bag my profit and, you know, put it in the bank, you know, had a decent Friday, had some nice withdrawals, you know, that's the most important thing in this market. Take what you can take and get the hell out of this market because sometimes it can be an absolute beast. However, this week I'm planning, I have every intention to tame this beast, every fucking intention to tame this beast. So. Now, moving on, what I do have in front of me now, back to what I was saying, thought process. So I'll break down my thought process so that you guys can understand exactly what I'm thinking at the moment. Now, let me zoom out so that you guys can actually have a fair idea what exactly is going on. Now, since we have literally turned around here, right about here, safe to bring my, 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 Yeah, sorry about that. Go carried away a little bit. Now, this exactly, this right in front of me right now is looking like a double bottom, okay? Double bottom, usually what happens is once we're able to make new lows and we make a double bottom, usually we start to head back into previous highs, okay? I'll take that again. Once we fail somewhere about here, so this market is collapsing all the way to the downside. We pull back. This is looking like 50 fit, really nice. 50 fib from here anyways, and then we're supposed to push all the way to the downside. And once we come here at the 100 fib, we don't push to the downside, we stay here, we stall here, and then we start looking like we're about to head higher. What usually happens is that the market is actually trying to head higher. That's the problem with most traders is that they're probably in this trade, 
and they wanted to head, they just wanted to continue going in their, their favor and their direction. And they fail to see the little clues that the market is actually giving them that listen, I'm done with this move. I'm done. Okay? So the market is pretty much saying that it's done with this move and it's now pointing, as you can see, we're pointing, pointing, pointing to the upside. So what I then do is I'll scroll. So now we know that this market wants to retrace all the way back to the upside. Very simple. I'll come down to my four hour. And I'm going to basically see what's, what's, what's this market going to start for me. Well, what are you going to start for me? Okay. So I know that the next level of resistance is somewhere here. I can see, also see trend line resistance, you know, belting all the way to the downside. Now it's an absolute no-brainer. Let me just take this out one second. It's an absolute no-brainer. If this market is going to head to the upside, there's only one direction. There's only one place it's going to head into. Sorry, let me remove this. There's only one place it's going to head into, which is here. Because I've got confluence, I've got resistance, and I've got, I've got trend line resistance, and I've got actual resistance so same thing with gbp was the all i'm going to do is i'm going to wait for a four hour break above this and then ladies and gentlemen we're going to be heading to 1.14280 yeah head it here first so yeah that's um euro dollar ladies and gentlemen no nothing to panic about you know my risk i keep them very low anywhere between one to three percent i'm going to be risking just one percent on my on my account on this because this is pretty much looking to me like a counter trend range trade. So it's just you know, just pretty much how I like to see things, okay? So let me see if we've got any moving average crossover just to, uh, yeah, no, the market is a bit choppy, so I'm not seeing any moving average. Oh shit, crossover, it's not happening. It's not happening, guys. Fuck it out. One of those things. All right, so I'm very confident in this trade. Uh, like I said, you guys always have to do your own analysis in con in confluence or in addition to what exactly I'm talking about, because my analysis isn't exactly gospel. You know, I'm a trader as well, so my duty here is to come and give you guys my thought process. Although I'm quite profitable, I must say, I must commend myself. I'm quite profitable, but 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 you have to remember to do your own anal analysis as well in confluence with this one. So guys, that's Euro USD in a nutshell. I'm going to be heading over to um, what, what, what do I really want to give you guys today? Mm. So I wrote GBP USD, Euro USD. I wanted to give you guys USD CAD, but USD CAD isn't exactly really cooked at the moment. You get me? Still, I'm trying to simmer it. Okay, if the season is trying to get into its body, you get me. So you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not really working on USD CAD at the moment. So I'm going to give you guys one last analysis which is SPX so S&P 500 now don't forget euro USD buy GDP USD buy okay don't come in my Instagram and come and be asking me oh that's what am I gonna do euro USD up or down GDP USD up or down I hate those questions just freaking watch the analysis and you know you just do your thing man okay so the last one I have in front of me is SPX SPX is pretty much the S&P 500 which represents the Top five stocks in the American uh, stock market. Okay, so I'm gonna to come to basically. I just want to show you guys what exactly is happening. There isn't any real trade opportunity at the moment. So SPX is in this crazy uptrend. Okay, now SPX. I must say SPX tried to break. You know, we did try to break this range, and I was quite excited. And after this double top, what I did was I brought out my counter trend line and I threw it like this. Okay, so imagine I was short all the way. Here, our, you know, we had this sideways movement, we broke to the downside, broke the range. I was really expecting some real momentum, some real momentum to the downside. But I did realize eventually that there was this long ass trend line. This trend line has been dating back to when? 2009. 2009, tapped it again in 2011, tapped it again in 2016. Tapped it in, now, it's tapping again in 2000 and what 2018. So, obviously, we're 2019 now. This this move actually happened in sometime uh, December of last year. So, yeah, uh, so I mean, the downtrend is pretty much cancelled. Okay, I was able to bag at least uh, I think 350 pips on this move because I got short somewhere about here. My stops were all the way at the upside here, and then it wasn't until I started seeing some green candles kind of like something's going on, something's not right. And I banged on the trend line, and then I saw this massive trend line, you know, going all the way to the upside. And then we indeed we did test it and tested it, and then the market has just been bullish ever since. Now, that being said, 
Yeah, as you can see, it's a no-brainer. The next level target for this market is 2887. I'm going to try and scroll over to the to a lower time frame to see if I can get a refined entry. I think we might be heading into temporary resistance at the moment. I might not exactly be interested in this pair because... Okay, we have temporary resistance. Once we break it, then we're coming in. So I don't really have space, that much space for me to be trading this pair at the moment. So I'm going to leave that. But that being said, SPX, if we take out, if we take out current resistance, which is at 2,900. 2,900. If we take out 2,900, ladies and gentlemen, the next level target is 3,300. Okay. S&P 500 might be making a record highs. Obviously, with this whole Donald Trump talking about bringing jobs back to the U.S. Okay, S&P 500 might just be heading all the way back to the upside. So, you know, ladies and gentlemen, that is my um, analysis for the week. All right, guys, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. As you can see, I have got just three videos on there, but I'm going to be putting on more videos. I'm going to be dropping at least two to three videos every week now. I'm going to be talking about FX trading stuff, and I'm also going to be talking about online businesses, so from social media marketing to e-commerce and all of that good stuff, basically how you can make money online. So I have all these skills that I've acquired over the years. I've been trading the FX market for about eight years now, seven to eight years. And apart from that, I've also, I also have other businesses. I also have an e-commerce store. I also have a whole lot of other stuff. So trust me, subscribing to this channel is really going to help you for both Forex traders and people who want to have online businesses as well. So please do subscribe. And you can also check out this video. It's called Inside the Life of a Trader. Uh, I shot this in... In, in London, it was absolutely, absolutely crazy. It was a really nice house that, you know, that we, that myself and my traders stayed in for the summer. So it was absolutely cool. We had a really, really nice mansion. So please do subscribe. Click the subscribe button anywhere it is on your screen. Please do click it and I will join you guys again, probably another video this week or probably join you next week. But Trader Talk, the, the, the theme of this is called Trader Talk. So I'm going to be dropping and once you see Trader Talk, just now I'm going to be talking about FX. So don't forget, Euro USD long, okay? GBP USD long. Euro USD long, GBP USD long. These are my two trade calls for the week ahead. All right, guys, goodbye and God bless. Cheers.